Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today we're bringing you 96 foot Crescent Custom Motor Yacht called La La Land. It is for sale. It's got some super interesting features that we haven't fully seen yet, so we're gonna explore it with you. But I have heard it's got five guest staterooms, all en suite, two um, crew cabins, so total of seven and seven heads. So it's pretty amazing for this size of a boat. So this boat was built in 1997, but it just went a massive refit 2018, 2019. So it is definitely like super current refitted. Welcome aboard. So as you can tell, it's got a pretty grand entrance. We've got two staircases coming up around, which is pretty nice. This handrails are pretty awesome. I like how they wrap around and this boat is set up for fishing, but it's kind of a non-offensive way. So you do have this setup for rod holders. It's got two bay tanks. So if you wanted to fish, you can, but it's not really in the way and out of the way. The staples are pretty nice because they're so mm -hmm. thick, right? They just... Uh... And again, you got rod holders on them as well. This is a good size. Yeah, it's a good size um, swim step. Swim platform, totally doable for fishing. Which side do we take up? I mean, you know, so many choices. Huh? Port, starboard, starboard. Huh? Let's go right. Starboard. Okay. All right, come on up. The aft docking station right here. Got your thruster control there and your throttle and shifter controls right there. I'm just noticing that down on the swim step, there looks like some nice lighting coming up the stairs, some big, big Courtesy lights. Lighting. Yeah, so it probably looks pretty awesome at night. Pretty cool size alfresco dining. Easily can sit 10 people, 10 actually. people, huh? Yeah, it's really good size. This could be fully enclosed if you wanted to. It's already pre Pre-rigged for it. A little upgrade I would do is maybe a, a shade. Kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah, looks great. So we've got a little bar station here. Little cocktail station. Yeah. An ice maker. Uh-huh. Oh, storage space right here. Yeah. Yep. Well, just like an outdoor, yep. uh, outside um, wet bar. Great, nice little size here. And also all of that. Should we go forward? Go forward, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go on the starboard side. Oh, there are definitely uh, some nice weather doors. Weather doors. Here. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have for sure. Our diesel fill on the starboard side. Boarding door. So an entrance to the pilot house that we're going to look at later. So looks like a storage here as well. Oh, it's a beautiful bow. So they've got this um, sea deck or not sure which exact brand, right? Mm -hmm. but up here. It's a really nice open bow, actually. Oh yeah, it's nice. You have big layout cushions with an easy step up. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? We got two very big windless. I'll tell you what we got double here. Double anchor setup. And what else do we got here? I'll tell you what we got here. We got a ship's bell. Yeah, fog bell. Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> so cool. That's a watertight hatch the with, I would assume, storage and anchor locker underneath. Looks like we've got lighting everywhere. Look all around. 
courtesy lights, right? Really yep, nice. All around. It, the boat looks really grand from everywhere you look. It definitely feels like 105, 110. It feels big. Yeah. It really, it's it's uh, a lot of volume. Oh, look at this door as well. Is that going to the galley? Oh yeah, that goes straight know, no, no. to the galley, which is really, which is really, really cool. Which is really nice. Yeah, you want to bring some drinks out to the bow. It's great. Yeah. Oh, you're preparing a big meal and you know, you just have the doors open, you get air circulation, fresh air in. Fresh air, yeah, that's awesome. If you would use that awning door, yeah. and you want to bring all your um, groceries in, all yeah. your provisions all the in, provisions. You know, that would go right through here, Super you're right easy. in the galley. Very true, very, very true, which you would use this a lot. Check out the flybridge. So in the back here, we've got a ladder, which I'm pretty sure there is a proper staircase on the interior of the pilot house. Wow, that's a lot of room. I mean, this is a party space right yeah, here. Yeah, this is like a, like a dance deck. <laughs> You've got your David here. That's a big David system for sure. Looking at the receptacles here in the floor, that's where your dinghy shocks or your tender shocks would go. And um, I would assume these deck chairs go away and your tender sits right up here. Looks like you could put massive tender here. You could put a big tender here. You can probably put some jet skis in front of it. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of space here. Like a good a size center console tender, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. And this is obviously watertight, so you can close that up. Uh huh. So the entertainment space, it's fabulous. So you've got this big bar. Sorry, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Absolutely. Okay, so we got a wet bar. Looks like an ice maker. Yep. Ice maker, Storage fridge. Space. Yeah, we got a drink fridge here. Yep. Great. Yep. Some, I think maybe so some Peronis in there. Some of the things here might need a little <laughs> updating, but yeah, it's great. There's a huge, nice barbecue, huge barbecue. Yeah. I mean, this just a, a little, a little TLC here. I think it's going to look really nice. Look at the size of this table. Yeah, I mean, this is again, you could easily sit eight people, just put some chairs around. You can also dine up here if you wanted to. Nice to have it enclosed because if you have a really cold evenings and you want to still have this beautiful view, I mean, the view is stunning. It's so high up. Mm -hmm. It's a really tall, really tall yacht. Got a massive TV up here, so if you want to watch some TV, having your dinner up on the flybridge, that's the spot to be. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the, um, the bimini that they have on it because it, from outside, it almost looks like a hardtop. It it's, does. It's well done and it's extremely tall. Yep. I mean, like, I don't even know. It's, a, it's, it's a, way over seven feet. It's a vinyl, uh, vinyl bimini. Yeah, it looks from outside. I really, for a second, thought it was a hardtop. Yeah, it looks really great. We got two large Simrad chart plotters right here. Again, our repeaters for the engines, bow thruster, um, engine controls, and on each side, port and starboard side, you have um, repeater units for docking. So you got your bow thruster, your engine controls, and I'm standing pretty much at the edge of the boat. So really good for docking got that on the starboard side as well yeah, yeah. so a nice solution for not having a, a remote station you can carry around you have those you know yeah it's a lot right. so you've got five one two, two three, three four, four and you also have your pilot house correct wow five stations it's a lot of repeating stations so there's a really nice staircase like i said which is leading us to the pilot house pilot house Let's check out inside. Those are really nice windows. It's the first thing that jumps out. I like the floors. Yeah, it's really nice. The refit was really recent, so obviously they did a lot of changes. So let's see, what do we have here? Hi, a little secret feature. pretty cool it's really nice and open right yeah it's uh it's it's great it's got tons of storage areas right there which you can't, don't even see but there's a whole bunch oh of, yeah 
it's a bar kind of storage and right there it's kind of hidden everywhere but it's tons in the salon here a whole bunch of storage so there's storage all around all around yeah and right there behind this um, dining table as well i like this couches they look really comfy yeah it looks cute and the the lighting is nice and i mean the the whole salon feels really bright bright and airy it has that classic style still the you know the wood and the color you know sometimes some of the yachts in the 90s you felt really enclosed the windows and everything this feels really bright and beautiful yep so all of these are storage um you know for glassware and Stuff like that. We've got a nice bar here. Those are really big chairs, so if you really had to squeeze, you could probably sit a few more people. But there's obviously a nice alfresco dining outside as well. All right, so come on into the galley. I personally really like the layout of this galley. Totally speaks to me. So it's got this really nice bar area that, you know, you can hang out, entertain. People can sit there on the bar stools. So if you come in, you can see like all of that has storage got an um, electronics repeater here and all your air, air condition controls mm -hmm. okay so let's see what we've got here tons of drawer storage here this whole area and that's a really deep island right yeah, it's a really nice island Dishwasher. Huh. Yay. Okay. Storage underneath the sinks. Trash. <laughs> trash compactor or just trash? Just trash. trash. Yep. yep. So all of that as well. You know, I'm not going to open everything. Oven. A big size oven. Good size oven. Yeah. It's good. Microwave. Um, the stove has got four burners. Full size stove. Big side by side. Yes, massive fridge, lots of food in it, it's big. <laughs> okay. What is that behind you there? That is... Oh, spice rack. Yeah, spice rack. Tons of awesome. space. Awesome. Really cool. Mm. And this looks right here like another pantry area as well. Yeah, is it? that's a deep pantry area. Fantastic. Goes pretty deep in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty cool. That all, like, yeah, that's, that's actually a really nicely laid out kind of a compact, in terms of how big it is it could be a lot bigger if you just put it you know kind of space it differently but it feels really nice and compact but you could work here really nicely i yeah. love that it's open to the uh to the salon yeah I like the galley very cute so coming forward we have all of this storage here tons i don't know what it is used for but yeah it's just a lot storage everywhere all the way you guys Ooh, that looks like a day head. Yep. Day head right here. Very cute. Nice for, you know, when you're entertaining, for guests to use and then if don't need to go down below. Really cute. Okay. Nice and wide walkway here. Mm -hmm. Really, it feels really nice. More storage on this side. It's a nice pilot house. Very cute. It's very roomy. Very nice. Look at all this upgraded electronics. Okay, what do we got here? We got three really good sized screens. Mm -hmm. um, Simrad electronics, which are fairly new. They look like recently upgraded. Your Detroit engine controls, uh, our monitors are right there. You got a Furuno, looks like sonar system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this boat is all set up for fishing. It's kind of in a non non-aggressive way so it's got bait tanks it's got the furuna system but yeah it's if you if you don't like fishing you don't have to but if you do it's definitely set up for it awesome and then really nice chart table here look at all this chart drawers chart drawers i don't know some of you guys don't know you have to keep your charts nice and flat so this is a nice chart um space here for if you want to keep some hard paper charts and you got pilot um pilot house doors to port and to starboard. Yeah, the sitting area is pretty awesome as well. And just notice there's just storage everywhere. Also chart mm -hmm. storage right here, and you know, obviously you can use it for whatever you want, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a great little uh, space here. You're underway, you can even nicely kind of lay, lay down here. And Crush out. out. Yeah, it's cute, really nice area. 
It's very nice. nicely set up pilot house. Yeah. And helm station. And a nice queen's chair. Oh, oh, good, good visibility. Should we check out how many cabins do we have? Five. So we're gonna keep going forward. Nice staircase here. There is a full-size fridge here. Oh, what? Freezer. Food freezer. Ding! It's a huge freezer. Wow, mm -hmm. that's cool. Really cool. Okay, so now on the port, forward port. So that's a guest cabin. It definitely feels like kind of a single, single guest cabin, or maybe like. But still, like a good amount of space to stand and. Yeah, definitely. No, it's a great single cabin. It's awesome. There's a huge hanging closet. Hanging locker? Oh yeah, that's very large. Yeah, that's a, I, I, would, I would die for this. This is really nice. All right, and then we've got some storage spaces here. Yeah, great, great size. I mean, even have a little desk in here. Yeah, it's, it's great. That's cool. Yeah, if you're like really nice to your um, crew, you, this could actually be a captain's, captain's uh, cabin. Yeah, right. Even though you've got crew cabin, this could be a really nice captain's cabin. It's right next to the uh, pilot house, so it's a great area for that. Look at all the storage here. Mm -hmm. And tons of storage underneath the bed. Check that out. Tons of drawers. Oh, good size and, head. And sweet. Oh, good shower. Hold on. I can go in the shower again. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's actually a good, good size shower. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. It's headroom on 5'7. That's not bad. Pretty good for a small gas cabin. It's great. Is that a little bidet set up there? What? No, I don't think so. Oh. That, that's, it's like a shower head. Shower. It's a, it's a, exactly, bidet set up. Weird. Yeah. So all there's right. a medicine cabinet here as well. Okay, keep going all the way forward. Oh, that's a nice VIP, I guess. Yeah, forward VIP. Wow, that's a really tall bed, super tall. But it actually doesn't feel that bad. I think you could sit on it and not have, yeah, still have tons of uh, tons of headroom. Yeah. We've got storages right there and right there. Here as well. Looks like we've got some hanging lockers here. It's great, great mm -hmm. size hanging lockers. Lots of storage. On the starboard side, so it's even larger. Oh, got a nice TV. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so there's another one here, I guess, matching to that side. Mm -hmm. And all of these look like they're nice and deep as well. Oh, whoa. Wow. That used to be back in the days where TVs went. Probably. Yeah, I have one of those that I've reconfigured as well. But yeah, that's a great, great space there. And a nice and sweet. Very nice and bright. And a good size too. Yeah, same size shower, kind of a nice. Actually, it's, it's bigger. That seems bigger. No, than it's bigger, yeah, because you've got this um, corners here. So it's actually nice and nice and wide all upgraded yeah it looks good yeah this definitely been refit you could tell that this was all upgraded like the marble sink this look at the slaps of it it's actually really big heavy marble tons mm -hmm. of space oh this is, looks like a big medicine cabinet as well yep nice okay. really nicely done yeah it's cute really cute head also today mm -hmm. set up don't forget the storage underneath, all the drawers underneath the bed. Yeah. Also big size. Lots of storage. Yep. This okay. is a nice cabin. Totally. It's a, it's a, it's a good... And lots of space to still it's, move around. It's a good size VIP for sure. So these two cabins are pretty awesome. Right? Yeah. I mean, and they're completely separate from the rest of the cabins. Totally. All right. So going aft. Let me check this out. Coming midship, we have another staircase. I like the visit here, it looks really, really nice and classy. The glass, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. looks good. Oh, well, this staircase is really wide and drops you into like this little foyer in the middle of all the cabins. Oh, this is so much room. Okay, I mean, you guys see us tour a few boats about the same size, and this is a lot of space. Oh, twin guest cabin, which actually turns into a triple. triple because you have this uh, bunk bed right here that comes down. Really cool. If needed. 
all of that storage drawers right there. I'm not going to open everything and we'll be here all day. Um, drawers right here is the drawers as well. And yeah. it's nicely all lined with um, cedar, yeah. even the drawers, yeah. which uh, shows you that the, you know, the original, the quality of a build was, was well, well built because you don't get that everywhere. Whatever this is. Oh, huge, huge what? space as well that you can use with access behind it. Access to the water heater behind. Yep. A TV again, looks like newly upgraded, full nice size mirror. Full size mirror here. What's above the TV? little oh. space here. Oh, it comes out like that. Yeah. Okay. This looks like a big hanging closet big hanging again. Closet as well. There's also drawers right there um, yeah. in the nightstand. Wow, that just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> the heads. This feels even wider and bigger. I agree. Oh, they all they all have that. That must be the or from the original totally. setup. Totally. That's so interesting. It's just plumbed in. I've never seen that on any boat. Little storage we've got here, medicine cabinets. There's a couple of them. And this is a big one. Okay. And there's one more right there. The shower is great. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, it's great. Really great. I mean, plenty you, of space. You don't need more than that. Yeah, plenty of space, plenty of headroom. No, it's it's really nicely laid out. Yeah, it looks great. So I, th I think we have a matching mirror image. Yeah, same cabin on on the port side. On the port side. Yep. Yep. Pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. Also with the foldable bunk. Pretty cool if you have kids, you know, that like to bring friends with them really really cool to have two cabins that could be converted and basically hold you know six that's just like killer you could totally see that same big closet yeah setup. It's, a, it's a little this different this is a here, little different um but it's you know similar very similar we've got all of got the a storage. tv but then we have all these drawers mm -hmm. there correct and we still have a massive closet the portholes are pretty good size as well Really large, actually. You got to get a good perspective because the helmets are next to it, so you kind of get an idea. Uh, same here, really nice. Tons but and tons little of little different layout than the other side. Yeah, but about the same amount of space. Yep. It's just that the... Um, it's actually, the shower actually feels bigger. It's got that same kind of a corner, corner unit feel. Yeah, opening all the drawers, all the tons of space here. That looks like it would be good storage. Yeah, no, it's it's great. And look at this, how beautiful this uh, porthole covers. It just mm -hmm. really feels really grand and classic. It looks solid, really cool. All right, what's missing? The master. You guys are ready? Let's do it. It's rare you get two doors to open. Ta -da! Full beam, midship which makes it really nice and stable. It's a nice place to have a master just because it's such a comfortable space. On the boat, we have a little bit of a rough seas. Current owners just left, so we're not gonna snoop around much. We're not gonna open much for you guys. I'm just gonna point things out. Just gonna be respectful. But this looks like some kind of a closet. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no way. I love that. It's just, Oh, look how cute. Oh, that is a makeup um, Check mirror it out. with the lights built in. Wow. Oh, oh my God. Sold. That's amazing. I'm not even that much of a makeup whatever girl, but I would do my makeup here. I would, I would maybe wear more makeup because of it. <laughs> oh, it is just gorgeous. Look how cute. Okay, this is going on a wish list, Rico. This is amazing. Really cool. I'm glad I opened that. And I like how they covered it because it just makes it feel like it's not obnoxious. Here is this crazy makeup mirror and you could still mm -hmm. use it as a working station. So pretty cool. And it, and you have one on each side, right? You have kind of like his and hers. Correct. Um, I mean, not makeup station, but workstation. Very cool. Huge TV there. Tons of drawers. 
if you guys can see just a lot a lot of drawers right here as well drawers there there's a full full walk-in closet it's big and and lots of mirrors yeah it's great it's a really it's a really um friendly <laughs> woman friendly closet it's awesome it's got tons of taller space areas um i mean just a dream closet for sure all right and it's a king king size bed yeah so it's just give you guys perspective it's big it feels really big it's tall barely reach it i'm five seven and yeah it's great yeah it's a full beam master in it this boat has a really wide beam i think it's about almost 23 feet so it's 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 beamy it's a really really nice master how do you feel about the doors rico do you like those i don't mind them i like them it kind of makes me feel really you know you don't have to use both but just it's kind of nice and grand and if you're staying on a boat just you you know just a couple um it's just nice to be able to have it open like that and just have all that room and you don't you don't feel closed in pretty it feels very airy yeah it's beautiful check out the head oh yes wait there are two showers no no that's not a shower that's a shower this uh -huh. this is a steam room you guys hell yeah oh, right there look that is something i would have on my boat can you see my face oh it's so cool oh this my is amazing gosh. would totally use it especially living right? in california in the winter you would totally use it i mean i hot tub is great too but having this yeah that was amazing. that's a highlight for sure it's not super massive but it's really well laid out you don't right? need, you don't need more yeah like you don't need more you've got you've got two sinks which is really great got all this you know all this uh, extra like medicine cabinet stuff and what's that storage oh, lots of storage for towels and all the extra stuff and there's one right there as well it's really big it's even got a little bench and everything it's really oh, yeah. large two people shower for sure really nice yeah it's great i mean a really nice a totally amazing liveaboard possibility with having option to go out and actually you know have some friends out and go into the Catalina or you know just just going cruising the coast just a really nice possibility super super cool really like it wow cool huh cool master all right well, that was fun. so what do we have left where's our engine room and the cook waters, cook waters. coming aft I always love these. This makes me feel like I'm on the <laughs> ship vessel. All right, come on down and show you real quick. So we got a crew quarters. Got the yeah, so crew the, shower. The crew, sh yeah, it's great. It's got all everything you need. And Toilet, head. shower. Yep. Um, that's another crew cabin with um, a whole bunch of storage here. Yep. And oh, we even got a little crew galley. Yep, with a little fridge and microwave and yeah, perfect. That's actually really nice how that's all open to each other. And I honestly don't know why sometimes you have, most of the times you have the door and then you have the, the kitchen separate. This is a good crew space. You already sharing the space. I kind of feel like this is really great. Yeah. Yeah, look at how big this is. So you've got all of that there, I'll let you go. You got um, some of the breakers there. You got um, your gauges for your house, engine batteries. Again, your Detroit diesel electronic monitors, generator monitors, switches, everything here. Washer and dryer. Great location for it. And really good location. Yeah, it's great. Good size or oh, full size. Yeah. Engine room. Engine it looks like fancy man. So cool. All right, come on in. nice and bright engine room and a lot of space to walk around and look at that you don't even yes. sometimes you have that little space here but look it just you can walk all the way around 
rod storage on top. We got uh, two Northern Lights generators, firefighting system. Here we got our tank level side glasses, which I think every yacht should have. Uh, digital gauges are all great when they're working, but this is really, if you really want to know how much fuel you have, you kind of want something like that. It also looks pretty. <laughs> I mean, the engines look like they've been cared for. Nice and clean and... Detroit diesel engines, yep. twin Detroit diesel. The water maker. Yep, two water makers, actually. Redundancy on the water makers. A little wet sink, a little workbench. There you go. This concludes our tour of 96 custom Crescent Motor Yacht. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. This boat is for sale. The owner is stepping up. So if you guys are interested, the broker's information will be in the description below. As always, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It really, really, really makes a difference in our channel. We really appreciate it. And if you guys are still not following us on Instagram, this is mine and this is Rico's. We post every day on Insta stories and also check out our YouTube stories. Enjoy the outtakes. Ciao. We are bringing you today a 96 foot. You're really kidding me. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Huh? Let's go right. Sorry, right. Okay. Right, because I'm always right. <coughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Did you read it? Yeah. Why in a bit? That's what I was laughing about. <laughs> Somebody likes wine. Okay. <laughs> you coffee? You feel a little out of it. <laughs> I'm supposed to say something. You feel too? very out of it. Oh, okay. Like, what I'm saying, it takes you like a minute to get to what I'm talking about. It's going to look so much nicer when I do slow, small, slow. Um, uh, five. Yeah. Dude, are you awake? I just did this whole thing. I we just did it all. on purpose. Cool. Where did I put my glasses? I don't know. Did I lose them? Hey. Unless you, you know, if you want to wash your hair on the sink. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that's not it. You mean you can put your head through the porthole? You can. Is that what you're saying? You could climb out. I could climb out there. Uh, I could climb through there. I don't know. Oh, totally. I can climb there. I don't know about I could you. squeeze through there. <laughs> We'd have to push you. <laughs> <laughs>